and they are just like our future is AI because we can we've got endless energy right now, so we can do endless compute and yeah. data centers and all of that. That obviously plays for Bitcoin mining, but they have a lot of free cash flow. And they want to become more modernized economy. So they're like, well, we'll build on blockchain rails and use AI in government. They're already using it in government, in asset allocation models, all sorts. So it's, it's really interesting to see how fast they're moving. But yeah, you're right. Most people don't understand that they're going to be using a lot of underlying blockchain technology. That's not just the storing of Bitcoin for a sovereign wealth fund. Yeah, yeah. It's just such a contrast to some of the Western countries that, you know, are constraining themselves on the energy side, whereas... You know, in the Middle East, they're overbuilding their energy grids. And because of that, they've got just all this extra use. I mean, they can basically monetize all that surplus energy with Bitcoin. But yeah, it's fascinating because, you know, you can see where this is going to go in, in the next 10, 15 years, the Middle Eastern countries are going to leapfrog a lot of other emerging markets. But, you know, they could even well overtake some of the more established developed markets as well. Um, well, look, I mean, uh, let's sort of bring it back to our friend liquidity. Um, so what I've got here is just my version of global liquidity index, which is, you know, aggregation of um, private credit through, you know, um, global M2s or the global money supplies of large countries, central bank balance sheets, FX reserves, US net liquidity. Uh, and this is you know, similar to our uh, GMI total global liquidity. Yeah. Yes, okay, it is. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah. 